Okay, welcome back. This is the next section of the course. Just to refresh, we covered how to research and compile and organize your keywords and make from that make it into a title and then use all of that information to write a description and I showed you the tools that I used to make a to write a good description so what we're going to do is I'm going to just let you watch me as I do a full SEO from beginning to end and I'll show you all the steps. So the steps are gonna be, first we're gonna do keyword research, then we're gonna write uh, our keyword list. We'll create a title based on the top keyword phrases in that list, and then we'll write a description, and that is it. So I'm gonna show you how I do it from start to finish, now that we've done all the steps and now we're gonna put them all together, all right? So, here we go. The first thing that we need to do is go to our, well, let's see. Our topic is going to be setting goals in life. And I forgot to mention here, the keywords, uh, the, the tools that I'm going to be using are TubeBuddy and WordCounter, which is uh, to filter your, your keyword phrases and put them out alphabetical order. Then we'll use a writer tool that I showed you that will do some uh, automatic artificial intelligence writing based on the topic. We'll use Quillbot to do some paraphrasing, rephrasing of the content. And then that should be it. Um, all links of all these tools are down below in the description of this video this entire video so anytime you need to go to one of these tools there's just links right down below if you click on it it'll take you right there okay so let's go back here so what's our topic today so i get i get orders from all over the world from people with lots and lots of different topics it's a very very wide range there's probably 200 different topics or more that I've done SEO for. Um, so I just chose one and I thought this would be a good one to start with. So the topic today for this SEO is setting goals in life. That's just a general theme. So what we have to do is first find keywords for that specific topic. So let's go into my TubeBuddy right now and we'll start to do some keyword research. Okay, okay, now we are at our TubeBuddy screen and I'm on the Keyword Explorer. So the topic is setting goals in life. Setting goals in life. So let's do a little research on this particular topic. Setting goals in life coaching, setting goals in life speech. So this particular phrase has a score of 55, but we want something that's a little stronger. How about setting new goals in life? Okay, so this is a good, this is a good phrase to start with, setting new goals in life. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our pad. So we're gonna put that down there. So setting new goals in life is an 86. And remember how I did this. Okay, so give it a score so we don't forget our score. So let's go back and let's find some other phrases that might give us some inspiration. How do you set personal goals? Mm -hmm. Setting up my goals in life. All right, so we're going to start to click these and we're going to use these phrases, how to achieve goals. Personal growth is always good. How to set goals in life. Um, Self-improvement, personal development, how to design your life. How to achieve your goals. How to set your goals. Self-improvement tips. Uh, let's see, what else? What else looks good here? 
how to set goals and achieve them, how to set goals for yourself, uh, how to set goals and objectives. Okay, how many do we have? We have 15 phrases. How to set and achieve any goal. I like that. Um, so I'm looking for phrases. I don't want single words like you see at the top. How to achieve your dreams. How to achieve your most ambitious goals. Let's get a couple more. Self-improvement motivation. How to set goals effectively. Okay, we've got 20. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to save these to the clipboard. All right, so you click that, and that will put those on a clipboard. I go to my, I go to my WordPad. So I use WordPad because there's no fancy fonts or anything like that and everything is basic and standard and i don't have to worry about like formatting problems or anything like that so i use the wordpad just for doing the basic stuff and then when i'm doing more writing and editing i use a, a word doc that way um i can adjust different things accordingly but just for this for making a list a nice clean list um the WordPad does the trick, so it's pretty simple. Let's see. So what I'm doing now is, as I explained in the in the first keyword section, is I'm making a nice list from top to bottom. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to read all the phrases. If it's in a paragraph form, it's really hard to read and see what you have. So I want to be able to see exactly what I have and I want to see the length of the phrases and I want to see in alphabetical order. Okay. So what I've done is I made a nice list, but sometimes there's duplicates. Sometimes you get, you click the same one twice because there's a couple of different lists that we're pulling from. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go over to my word counter and the link is down below. And the first thing I do is I paste this list into word counter. And then the second thing I do is I remove list duplicates. Okay, so I'm going to remove any duplicates and nothing happened on the right. So it looks like there weren't any duplicates. The third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to alphabetize them. So when I put them back on my list, it's uh, nice, clean and in order. So now everything is alphabetized. So select all and copy that again. Let's go back to our word pad and then we paste that back in. So now we have an alphabetized clean list um, of all the keyword phrases. So I'm looking at these thinking, what would be a good title for a video? So we want to have, we know that setting new goals in life is an 86. That's a good high ranking key phrase. Um, so let's use that as the primary key phrase. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this at the top. And then I want to choose a second keyword phrase that can kind of reinforce the first one that has the same theme. So, and also an interesting title that people might find that they want to click on. So setting new goals in life, uh, maybe how to in achieve your most ambitious goals. So let's, what I'm going to do is copy that and I'm going to go back to TubeBuddy and I want to see how that scores. All right, so let's see how that phrase scores. How to set your most ambitious goals. And because it's a long phrase, it's only 44, so that's not a good phrase. So let's try another one. Let's go back and let's find um, setting new goals in life. Uh, how to set goals and achieve them. Let's try that. So we're going to look and say how to set goals and achieve them. Paste that in there. See the score. Mm, that's only a 40. 
Okay, so let's try one more. Let's try, or a couple more. Let's see what happens. Um, um, this is what I like to do. Let's see. You had to achieve your dreams. Da, 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 da. Um, how to set and achieve any goal. So we'll do this. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a 62. That's pretty good. And that's the secondary phrase. So let's do this. We're going to keep this as the second one. Because we have the word goal. We have the word goal in there twice. So the title would be setting new goals in life, how to set and achieve any goal. Um, and then look at this. The, we have the phrase personal growth. So let's do this just to make the title a little more descriptive. I'm going to add personal growth on there too. All right. So we know personal growth is a very broad phrase, but it's good to have in there. So let's look at this. So I'm going to take these top three and I'm going to make my title. And then I'm going to say four personal growth. All right. So there's a good title. Setting new goals in life, which is an 86 score on TubeBuddy. And that's going to be our primary key phrase. But we also have a little more content just to give it a little more meat, a little more uh, substance for the algorithm to see what is in the title. It gives it more. It's got the word goal in there twice. It's got the word set, setting in there a couple times. All right, so the whole title is Setting New Goals in Life, How to Set and Achieve Any Goal for Personal Growth. And I think that's a great title. Okay, so that's going to be the title. Um, now, the next thing that we do is we're going to take this and we're going to start to build our SEO. So I've got a Word document here. So the title is in the wrong place. So the title will go here, okay? And I like this vertical bar. So I'm gonna do like this. Take out that dash, put it in the vertical bar, and then make sure all the spacing is proper, okay? So, and let's see. Okay. Okay. There's your title, setting new goals in life, how to set and achieve any goal for personal growth. Step number one and step number two are finished already. Okay, so we did our keyword research. We made a list. Um, the second thing that we need to do though, before we go further, is let's take that keyword list. And we know that it looks a little bit long, right? And we know that we can only have 500 characters in there. So I'm going to take this list, okay? And I'm going to make this a little smaller. Let's see. Um, I want this to be smaller. Okay, so there's our, okay, so there's our keywords. Now, we have to... We have to see how many words are in there. All right, I need to adjust something here. Let's see real quick. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna count the words. We go down here and it's got 568 characters. So we count the characters. So we need, usually the total would be around 470 is a good number 470 characters so we've got 568 we need to take out 100 characters all right so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this list and say which ones don't we need well we know that this phrase how to achieve how to achieve your most ambitious goals that didn't score high so let's take that out cuz it's really long and it didn't score high and then um Anything that looks like repetitive, uh, score goals, uh, set goals effectively. Take this out. Let's take out 
setting up my goals in life that doesn't quite fit. Um, we got self improvement, self improvement, self improvement. Let's take out. I like the word motivation, so let's counter. Let's count the words. Now we need to take this. Count the characters. And then now we have 465. Okay, so we just want to go. Okay, that's good. All right, so there's our keywords that will go in the keyword box. All right. Um, next, so we have our title, setting new goals in life, and now we need the introduction. Okay, I'm going to start that now. Okay, so let's do an introduction. So I like to start an introduction with something like this. Please enjoy this video about, okay? And then what we do is we take the title. We need those phrases in the first sentence of the description. So the, the phrases that are in the title should read exactly like they are when you uh, start your description. So it looks like this. We'll say, please enjoy this video about setting new goals in life, All right? If you want to learn more about how to set and achieve any goal for personal growth, this video is for you. All right, so there's your introduction. So you can see how this is flowing. All we did was we started with an idea, which was setting goals in life. Then we did some keyword research and we found uh, uh, some good phrases that a couple that scored high and, and a whole list of phrases that um, were in the same category that had the same idea. Right, so we don't check the scores on each and every one of those phrases because that's not really how YouTube works. They're not ranking all these different phrases, um, but they can. But we don't we don't need to know a score on each one because we're not going to write a lot of content on each phrase. We're going to write content on the main phrases. All right, so that's our introduction. So you see, like I said, you see how this flows. We get the keywords and then we make a nice title and then we start writing the description because we've already got the title which is the introduction and also the conclusion so um i'm going to take this i'm going to take these words that i just wrote for the intro and i'm going to go down here to the conclusion so it says if you enjoyed this video about about twice um, right so that's the conclusion and then what we have let's kind of pull this together a little bit so you can see it all on one page then you have your call to action okay so the call to action is always the same on all the videos that I do so it's just telling everybody to make sure you like the video share subscribe um, and leave a comment if there's any questions or feedback, right? So you take this and you just add it to your conclusion. So you got the conclusion and the call to action together as the last bit of the description. And it looks like this, right? So that's it. So that would be, this would be your conclusion. So now we have an introduction, right? And we have a conclusion and the call to action is done so we can get rid of that right um we'll do some hashtags and we'll do this in a minute okay follow hope you if you if you don't just go back and and watch what i'm doing but i'm, I'm basically i'm building this i'm building this uh seo report and then we're going to put it into our youtube editor and it's really easy so now that i've written the intro and the description I'm going to make my title look nice, so I'm going to capitalize the appropriate words. So it'll look like this. So, all right. So space there. And then how? 
So you don't capitalize the small letters like in and to and, right? Any goal. Let's capitalize any goal because it's, right? It's stress that word. No four, we don't capitalize four. And that, all right, so there's your amazing title. There's your amazing title. What's wrong with that H? Is there a problem with that H? Okay. All right, so that's the title. So um, now, next thing I want to do before I write all the content, I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy our list of keywords. And I'm going to make some bullet points. All right. So my bullet points look like this. People, let's, uh, let's do this. No red, no bold. Let's make it black. So it's good. Okay. People, oh my God. Uh, people who enjoy this video. We're looking for mm -hmm. Okay, now what this is, this is an opportunity to put all of these other keyword phrases in the body of the description, okay? So it's just a list of points. Right, so what I'm gonna do is the bullet points say, and all we're doing was we're, add, we're adding content for the algorithm. This is just words and phrases that um, that the algorithm will be looking for. So I have to do this, and we're gonna make some bullet points here. All right. You can see what I'm doing. Okay, we've already done how to achieve your goals. How to design your life. So I'm combining these. So I'm making multiple phrases. How to design your life and achieve any goal. Um, achieve is already in there a couple times, so let's take that out. How to set goals and objectives. And then the next line says how to set goals for yourself. So I'm gonna combine this, how to set goals and objectives for yourself. You see what I'm doing? I'm taking phrases and I'm either making this and that, or I'm combining two phrases. So the words all show up in the search. The words all show up in the indexing. Um, and that's what it's all about. It's about content and creating content that is unique. And it's also specific to the topic of the video, right? So people skip this part sometimes, a lot of times. They skip this part um, because it's tedious. It takes too long. Um, but it's a missed opportunity because the indexing process with the algorithm goes through when they're doing indexing and ranking, they're absorbing, they're going through and saying, what is this about? And the more words and phrases and descriptions and paragraphs that they see, it's going to give it more information on, on what the video is about and improve the chances of ranking and showing up in search and suggested search. Um... Okay, so we don't want to say things too much. We want to be conservative with how many times we use the same words and phrases. Um, so we want to do like, 
person of an elephant. Self-improvement tips. Uh, Self-improvement motivation. And that's all. Okay, so those are our bullet points. All right, so look how, look how quickly and efficiently we're doing this. Okay, so look at how quickly and efficiently we're doing this. We have a title. We have the beginning of our intro or our intro. We have our bullet points. We have our conclusion. Okay, do some hashtags. So, okay, so hashtags would be Okay, we'll do like um, setting setting goals, and we'll do um, personal goals. And you don't put spaces. And we'll do, um, what was that? Personal growth. Personal growth. You don't want to do a really long hashtag with a lot of words, like using a whole long phrase, because when people are looking for hashtag content, I showed you. Um, in the last section, what hashtag videos look like. It's a whole different section of YouTube. People won't put in like a long phrase, but they'll type in a short phrase with like two words. Um, so you want to keep your hashtags to just like two words, maybe even one word. All right. So you want to put these at the bottom of your description. So the hashtags will always go under the conclusion for me you could put them anywhere and the reason you do this is because they show up they will show up at the above the title and below the video as i said before in little blue um, links so you want to have those all there okay so we'll keep that there so now look at what we got all right so we have on this okay now this is the this is the the biggest part the biggest part is going to be the body and the goal the the topic is setting new goals in life okay so what you what we do is we're going to take this phrase setting new goals in life and there's a couple ways that we can do this i think i'm going to use the ai to write some content because it's it should be pretty easy content to write about. Um, so let's go to my Okay, now we're in my writer tool. I had to log on. So now I'm logged on. My tone my my language is going to be English. My tone is casual. I've got different options for for tone. Mine's going to be casual. And it's for blog section writing because we want some paragraphs. Okay, now the section topic is going to be setting new goals in life. And the keywords will be the same thing. You don't have to change anything. That's enough. And we'll ask for three different options. And you can add more keywords in there like personal growth and things like that. Um, let's do that. Okay, actually, let's make that the whole title too. So setting new goals in life for personal growth. That's a nice, okay, so now it's gonna write something for me based on the, that phrase. And it usually takes about five seconds in real time. And there we go, we've got, uh, we've got all this writing. So my face is probably blocking out the corner, but, um, and I can't slide this over and I can't adjust that. Okay. So, so here's, here's how it looks. 
Setting new goals in life is a way to grow and become better. It takes courage to set these new goals and also the discipline to stay on track. It may take time, but it will be worth it. We should not be afraid of change because it's inevitable. Change can be scary, but if we're willing to put in the work, then we will see that it is worth it in the end. All right. So that's my opening line. And again, I think I, I know that I mentioned this in the description section, um, the last section that we talked about writing a description. When you use this tool, it's not copying something that's already on the internet. What it's doing is it's taking all of the things on probably hundreds of thousands of different websites that contain information on this topic. It's processing that information and then writing new content that is grammatically correct, the sentence structure is proper, and it makes sense. Um, artificial intelligence is amazing. Um, so this is a great way to generate original content. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skim through the rest of this just to make sure it's not too repetitive. Um, in order to set a new goal, it's important to have an understanding of what your strengths and weaknesses are, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So what I recommend is, um, when you use this, go through and make sure that there's no, like, sometimes it might duplicate, it might repeat a sentence. Um, but I'm looking through this like, okay, so like this looks a little repetitive, um, but it looks okay. And it's using the, the, the main thing is it's using our key, my, our primary target keyword phrase several times, multiple times throughout the description. And that's what the algorithm will see and determine what your video is about and rank you and index you accordingly. All right. So let's do this. We're going to take this. We're going to select all of it. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to go to our WordPad first, because I want it to be unformatted because in there it's got a different font and stuff. So I just want to just make it generic. Okay. So there we are. So there is our description. Let's copy it again. So again, I use the WordPad first because it takes out any formatting or anything like that. It just makes it no formatting. So then it's clean. So you copy it again and then you put it into your document. Okay. So I'll paste, okay, like that. All right, uh, fine. All right, so that's the body. Okay, so now I'm going to take out these little cheat, cheat uh, headings because we don't have to keep these in there. The conclusion, the body, the bullet points, hashtags, all that stuff. Okay, take out intro. Okay, so just so you can see it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to make it a little smaller. All right, just so you can... So it fits on one page. Okay, so there's our keywords. And here's our title and here's our description. So you've got, please enjoy your intro. Please enjoy this video. And then now you've got one, two, three, four good paragraphs of original content. You've got bullet points that include your good keyword phrases that are just included in there for, for better uh, ranking and searchability. And then you have your, you have your, your conclusion. If you enjoyed this video about setting new goals on life, um, then always proofread. And, and you want to learn more about how to set and achieve a goal, any goal for personal growth, Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Okay. So when you're looking for your target keyword, you're like this uh, keyword phrase, that's it. Setting new goals in life. All right. And you can see it's like, um, 
it's all throughout the description, but it's very natural. It's not like you just put all the keywords together in one big clump in one big paragraph. That's, uh, that doesn't work. Um, you have to write something that's natural, like you're writing an article. So, because when it gets indexed, it's also indexed by Google. And so if somebody does a search on Google for this topic, it's going to see your content and it's going to attach the video to that in the Google search results. So you're not only doing this for YouTube, you're also doing it for Google. So it's got a double application so that you can maximize your exposure and hopefully maximize your, your, uh, your clicks and your traffic and your, your views and your watch time and all that good stuff. Okay. Okay. So now we have all this content. What do we do with it? So we're going to go over and we're going to put it into our YouTube editor. So where's my, where's my editor? <laughs> editor. Okay. Here's my editor. Okay. So this is what it looks like. So the first thing you do is you put your title in there. 79 characters. Perfect. Okay. So the title and the video details, when you load a video, next thing we do is we put our description. So we're going to copy our description with the hashtags at the bottom. And we're going to put them in there also. Okay, now look, it's all crunched together. So make sure it looks nice. All right, you want to make sure you do the proper spacing. Everything looks nice and professional. Okay, even my bullet points went in there nice. Okay, and then separate your hashtags. Now look, it is 2,483 characters. You're allowed 5,000. So if you want to put like social media links, um, email, website links, any, any other information that uh, links to other videos, um, you can put that in there. You've only used half of the amount and that's, there's a lot in there and you've only used half of what they allow you. So if we use 2,500 characters, you've got another 2,500 cause you're allowed 5,000. So look at how nice this is. Nice title, nice description, nice and clean, lots of keywords in there, originally written rather than rather than copied from something. All right. Um, and then keywords. So there's something that says, uh, so thumbnail, you could take a screenshot or you can have somebody design a thumbnail. I'm going to talk about thumbnails in the marketing section. After we do the second case study, I'll do marketing tips and social media, and I'll talk about thumbnail. Um, but now we want to enter our keywords. So there's a tab here that says show more. So you say show more and there's your tag section. So let's go grab our tags. And when I say tags, I mean keyword phrases, right? So those are the keyword phrases. Now we're going to put them in here, not here, in here and just paste boom. And we use 466 characters out of 500. That's perfect. Okay, so also your target keyword phrase or phrases go first. So you'll see at the top, setting new goals in life, how to set and achieve any goal. Okay, personal growth is number three. Those are your keyword phrases. If you just have motivation or just have like one word, life or um, goals, that's no good. You need phrases. So you don't get as many, but you have, these are, these are phrases that people will search for. Okay. Um, so that's it. Is there anything else? Now there's other stuff in there. Like if you want to publish it, it's going to, it's going to ask you if you want it private, your visibility, right? So right now I'm just on private because I'm doing an example. Um, there's also a way that you can, it automatically generates subtitles. So don't worry about that. And there's, I'll talk about later in marketing, I'll talk about your end screen and your, your cards, your suggestion, video suggestion cards. These are two things that you can do that will, um, 
boost your traffic and it'll give you more exposure and more linkage and things like that. But we'll talk about that in the next section. Okay, so let's see. What else? What else? What else? This is this is how you do SEO. So keywords, title, description, hashtags. Everything's done. I'm just double checking to see if I missed anything. Now, the one thing I didn't do is I didn't use the Quillbot, but I want to show you something. I want to show you something. If we take, let's take this opening description. Okay, let's copy that. And let's go to this other writing tool. And let's say we want to just add some variety. So let's go to Quillbot. And I pasted, or I'm going, I copied, and now I'm going to paste in that first opening paragraph that says setting new goals in life is a way to grow and become better. And then we're going to paraphrase. So this link is also in the bottom too. I think in the next, in the next case study, I'm going to use this and I'm going to use Google to do research and Quillbot to do paraphrasing and show you how I do it that way. So there's a different, there's lots of different ways that you can do the description. I just use the writer tool this time. Um, okay. So this gave me something different. So setting new goals in life is a way to grow and become better. Setting new goals in life is a great approach to improve and grow. All right. So if you wanted to, you can copy that part. And again, you would just put it down on your, you put it down your word pad or just to remove the formatting and then go back to your, go back to your video editor. Okay. And now this is, I probably wouldn't do this, but I just want to show you how this could, you know, how this tool works again. So this paragraph, this first paragraph, and then this one is a paraphrase. It's rewritten. So it's using different words, different sentence structure. So essentially it's different, but it says it's the same, the same thing, the same concept, the same idea. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is. So that is basically the case study for, for this particular topic showing you how to do start to finish. Um, let's go to my PowerPoint. Let's go back to my PowerPoint. Okay, so that's it. That's the case study. I hope that uh, clears up any kind of questions that you might have on how to do a proper SEO. Um, basic keyword, keyword research, build a list, create a title, write a description. I use TubeBuddy, I use WordCounter, Writer, Quillbot, and all of those links are down below in the description. Check them out, use them, buy them if you want. And um, we'll do another case study um, right after this. So I'll see you there. Bye.